All right. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Episode 11. Uh, last time on Let's Play Pokemon, we got to the SSN. This episode, we're going to go through the SSN and hopefully make a good dent into it. I don't expect to completely beat it. Uh, something to say in between. I just spent a good amount of time trading up Moon Nala, so we'll be able to use Clefairy a little bit more in the team. Um, I'm going to need to train it a little bit more in the meantime. Um, so for now, I'm actually going to kind of keep it in the back and we'll kind of rotate it in. Sadly, Moonala is kind of a weaker Pokemon. <laughs> Clefairy is definitely going to be a handicap going forward, but luckily I will be able to kind of substitute it uh, when it becomes actually a uh, Clefable, which will give us some decent stats, but nothing. And then right home about. So, alright, so we're going to have to go through every one of these rooms and fight all the trainers because it ends up giving really good amount of experience before the gym. So, I travel alone on my journeys. My Pokemon are my only friends. That's kind of sad. <laughs> I am sorry to hear that, sir. Ah, uh, well, you are a little bit older, so, and you are a gentleman. Alright. So, the Growlithe. Bugaloo is not going to be a good choice. Just, just not a good choice overall. Uh, but you know what? Maybe I can get off a of sleep powder before it attacks. Yeah, hey, that'll help. Because hopefully, and even though it'll have a decent special stat, I think it's high in special and speed in first gen. Hopefully confusion can do a decent amount. Eh. Uh, let's try confusion again. See if we can get a critical. Oh, don't use fire. Ooh, we did get a critical. Ooh, take it. All right, bite's okay. Bite's okay. We can take bite. Use it. Take it out. There we go. So we're going to want to get our guys up to, I think, like level 23-ish, going into fighting Lieutenant Surge. I'm actually going to switch out here. I'm going to put up bubbles. Um, I think the only other difference in between, I mean, there's a few level differences from grinding a little bit, but other than that, um, the only differences other than that is that uh, I think Lumina learned Whirlwind, which is nothing exciting or anything to write home about, so... Sadly, it's not until like level 30 do we start to get some really good moves from most of our guys. Uh, I know uh, Moonala uh, is, isn't going to evolve until level 31 because that's when it finally gets a decent move set that we can work with. They'll have learned its max move by that point, so level 31 is when I plan to turn it into a Clefable. Oh, we beat the gentleman. My, my, friends. Apparently, we're just friends now. Okay. <coughs> Alright, next one. Uh, all right, another gentleman. You pup, how dare you barge in? Gentleman wants to fight. <coughs> Ugh, something got in my throat. All right, Bugaloo will be perfect for a Nidoran. It's nice and poison. All right, confuse the crap out of it. Go. All right. Oh, the tackle. No. Ah, uh, confuse it. There we go. That should be it. I thought I only had one Pokemon. Oh, I had two. Niran female. Which, again, we're just going to keep Bugaloo out because it's poison, so... And for some reason, poison was weak against Psychic. Maybe that is in future gens. I just don't remember it, but... Oh, don't use poison sting. That hurts because I'm a bug. Don't do that. Oh, and you had to poison me? Ugh. Oh, well. My objective is to try and see how far I can make it in this episode without returning to the Pokemon Center because, sadly, it, it takes quite a bit to go through. Hmm, you rude child. Oh, apparently we're rude now. But, uh, wow, we're starting to make some money off these guys. That's double than what we were getting before. Anyways, I'm trying to minimize the number of times you have to go back to the Pokemon Center because, sadly, uh, you have to go quite a few times. Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. I am not a waiter. I don't look like a waiter. I would not, I don't know how you got that impression, but anyways. But yeah, there's a lot of trainers in this ship, so. Alright, a cruise is so elegant yet cozy. Alright. I always travel with Wigglytuff. Ah, Wigglytuff. You have a form of Jigglypuff. Alright, let's see here. Oh, there's a lot of trainers here, holy crap. Alright, here we go. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. That's good for you. What are we fighting you, last? What do you got? A Pidgey. Alright. Well, Bugaloo, you're going to do as much as you can this episode before you get taken out. 
I find it funny that my the only Pokemon that has like a psychic move is not actually a psychic Pokemon. It's a bug Pokemon. Oh, don't sand attack me. That's just rude. Alright. Oh. Oh, you're, you're, not, you're gonna be able to even take this thing out? I don't even know if it's going to. Wow. Alright, Bugaloo, be that way. Well, you know what? This will be a Moonala fight then. She'll be a ball. Shield? I don't know. There's no gender, but. Alright, use that. Fine. Now pound it. And then you missed? Really? Come on. Oh my gosh. Hit it, please. You need the experience. This is ridiculous. Come on. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Alright. That's a good chunk. New and level it up, but at least it does a decent amount. Alright, let's switch this for Lumina. Lumina's been doing pretty well. Let's see here. He's a quick attack. Sadly, it won't learn a flying move for another nine, or is it nine? Ten levels? It's ridiculous. I noticed that when I looked at the move pool sets for Gen 1, they're a lot smaller than later Gen pools. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if that was a memory limitation or they just didn't think about it back then. They're like, oh, this, this is enough moves. If you give them some decent moves and then you can customize them with TMs, you're good to go. It's kind of how the Moonala and uh, Wumbo are going to have to end up being, since they're normal types. They're more designed for stacking TMs on top of, so. Alright, who's next? I think I have Wumbo set up to fight. That's probably who we'll end up using here. Alright. I actually haven't used Wumbo all night, so I've been kind of saving it, not trying to get it overpowered, even though it is still pretty, really strong. Oh, Mega Punch missed. Oh, please don't poison me, because poison thing. oh my god, seems to have this knack right now of poisoning all my guys. Good. God. I don't remember poison thing doing that much poison. It's ridiculous. Alright, pound it. Yes, get rid of it. All right, Wombo. Looks like you're gonna pass out this this episode too. All right, wow, you're great. Well, thank you. You don't have a lot of money compared to the gentleman. All right, let's touch out Wombo for. Um, let's put Lum uh, Lumina in front. Uh, we are cruising around the world. All right, so apparently I don't have to fight her. All right, found TM08. I'm not too sure which one that is. Alright, this should be the last room on this floor. Shh, I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. Alright, well you do that, buddy. Okay, that'll go to the next floor. Let's go this way. This is the kitchen over here, which I don't think there's anybody to fight in here. But you can kind of check out the garbage cans and talk to some people. Hmm, dee dum, hmm, dee. I peel spuds every day. Hum, hum. Okay. And then in here, I know there's something in one of these trashes. Did you hear about Snorlax? All it does is eat and sleep. Oh, that's good. Blue found a great ball. There it is. Found it. Found our great ball. Snivel sniff. I only get to peel onions. Snivel. All right. Well, that sucks. Erham. Indeed, I am le chef. Le main course is prime beef steak. But have I have I enough fillets to beef? I don't know. Do you? It's not my job. That's your job, Mr. Chef. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. I saw an oddball in the trash. That'd be the great ball that I found. Yo, mon petit, we're busy here. Out of the way. Alright. So I think then, what we're going to want to do is go up these stairs here. I don't know if I want to go up these or go down to the end of the hallway, which I know Wumbo's going to end up dying here shortly. I'm just doing some exploring. Lumina and Bubbles should be able to take most of what's in here. Yeah, this goes down. I think I want to go down, to be honest. Yeah, down is the way I want to go first. So, let's come in here first. Take care of this guy. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. And that's to, to tell you about TM strength. On a max potion, well that's useful. I'd use that if I had an antidote. Actually, my items, do I have another antidote? I didn't think I did. 
No, I don't. That's what I thought. Alright. So these are two sailors. My sailor's pride is at stake. Alright, let's bring it on, sailor. We can take you on. Sailor wants to fight. Alright, sailor. Something's horsey. Alright, Lumina, you got this. You're, you're way ahead of this thing. Just keep quick attacking it. Horsey, another, again, a sprite that doesn't look too terrible in comparison. They did a pretty good job on that sprite, in my opinion. Oh, that should have taken care of it, really. Come on, finish it off. Alright, let's see here, shelter. Alright. Shelter sadly has some decently high defense. There we go. Oh, stop at the tackling. Leave me alone. That's so nice of you. There we go. Take care of that shelter. Alright, what's next? Tentacool. Alright, uh, we'll just keep going. Lumina, you got this. I got too much longer. And the rest of you guys have to withstand. Unless you're gonna use Poison Sting. Actually, I'll just take you out one hit. That'll work. Go, Lumina. How are you not leveled up yet again? Kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Alright. Let's fight this guy. You know what they say about sailors and fighting. I do. Let's go, sailor. Let's do this. The last guy had three. How many you got? You only got one. Alright. Shelter. Oh, not a fan of shelter. Got too good at defense. All right. Let's see here. So four hits, not bad. Oh, don't use withdraw. That's gonna increase jack up your defense. Come on. No, not supersonic. Uh, please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. All right, good. Critical, critical, critical. Let's go. Ow. No, knock it off. Knock it off with that move. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. I knew it would hit itself that time. Oh, it did a lot. Knock it off with that. Please break confusion. No, come on. Break it, break it, break it. All right, good. It's not going to kill it. Ugh. Oh, you're still confused? Break through it. No. Oh, now you finally decide you want to fight. Okay. Take my Pokemon down to six health and then fight me. Be that way, you shelter. All right, there we go. Luna is now my strongest in practical in theory. Theory, no, in practical. All right, let's see what's over here. All right, another sailor. Let's switch out Lumina for Bubbles. I don't have too much longer. I think I'm gonna do one or two more fights. Now I'm gonna have to call it an episode. I like feisty kids like you. I was hoping to get to the end of this hallway, cause then. We only have two extra sections to go. So, I'm hoping to get through most of this. Like that, There's only a few. There's like two sections. One are pretty small. We kind of get through three. The next episode, we'll get through the rest of this ship. Kind of, that's what I'm, got my fingers crossed for. So, bring it on, horse. You ain't going to do much to me. My special and my defense are too high for you. Bring it on. That bubble can't do much. It's going to slow me down inevitably. All right, let's go. Critical. I got off with the bubble. Nobody likes bubble. Come on, it's not gonna take it out, but I want it to. Ugh. Oh, that's a critical. It sucks. That sucks. that three points is a critical. Though it is, if you're only doing two, and then you have times 1.5, makes sense. All right, horsey. Another horsey. Just gonna keep tackling. Just keep tackling our way through these. And it seems like their solution is bubble everything. Alrighty then. Surprised that my speed, like I'm knocking on wood here, it's probably gonna happen here shortly that my speed hasn't fallen. Seeing as that's a hey, we'll take that critical, knock it out. Three hits, we'll take it. No no level up, really. Gosh, another horsey. 
Alright. Come on. Ooh, it's, we'll take that critical. You know, a second one would be, or a third one in a row would be really nice. Come on, game. You know you want to give it to me. Dang. Alright then. There we go. We'll take it. Oops. Then it gives me the critical there. Couldn't have reversed those. Still no level up. I'm quite impressed. That's like quite a bit of experience. So, ah, I lost it. All right, so we'll come in here. More room for items. Uh, if I look at items, actually, I'm just gonna use the rare candy. We'll put it on Hunala. Why not? Not afraid of a space. Oh, I learned double slap. Good. Actually, it's a decent move. That's good. All right, I found an ether. That's not bad, but I can't really use it too much here. How many rooms do we have to go? Just these two? Okay, let's see if I can get through these quickly. Uh, I got one fight there. What's in here? Two fights here. Jeez, I'm not going to get through this at all this episode. So, what I'll probably do is probably end it right here, I think. Yeah, let's end it right here. So... Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue version, we're going to keep going through the SS. And I know there's only a few more fights left. On, there's three more fights on this floor. And then we have two more on the upper deck. And then we have to, uh, one last hallway to kind of work our way through. And then arrival, and that'll be it for the SS. And so, thank you guys for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon. See you guys later. Bye-bye.